just be cute. Yeah. Yeah. So hello everyone. Uh, very glad to share with you uh, our startup. So we are working on an educational companion robot for kids, inspiring curiosity and imagination. So personally, me myself is a huge fan of Baymax or Minions, and I would love to have something like them. Just be adorable, cute, and some kind of both smart and goofy in, in my life. And so that's who the, the very beginning and the start of our idea. Can we create something like that? And during our uh, experience in the MIT Accelerator, we found a great uh, combination of both companionship and education uh, in the kids area. So our idea is very straightforward. Can we use artificial intelligence? Something like Echo. I bet if you have an Echo at home, kids are the best group that, that they talk with Echo, they ask them questions, they even like uh, fight with Echo and say, ah, you are stupid, these kind of things. So can we use technology like that to combine with uh, Minions, Baymax, or even like a pet? to create something that is interactive and inspiring, which is just a, like a talking puppy. So in that case, they can answer questions, they can provide fun facts to inspire exploration, um, even encourage make-believe activities, uh, better daily routines, or even help with uh, bedtime stories and uh, songs and just uh, everything. Is, is it possible? So that's why we create Ubo. And this is a uh, footage that uh, cutting edge from Channel 5 made for us. Uh, can I have the sound here? Let me look. Um, yeah. Is it possible that I can it have the song? Yeah. All those feedbacks will help us improve Wubo. Wubo is the creation of graduates from Harvard, MIT, and Carnegie Mellon. The new toy, a fuzzy robot packed with a lot of artificial intelligence. Observing them, a graduate of the Harvard School of Education. Susanna Chong wants to see how they interact. What are the general reactions and what are the frustrations? All those feedbacks will help us improve Wubo. Wubo is the creation of graduates from Harvard, MIT, and Carnegie Mellon. They're putting all their brain power into this little robot. Uvo is a smart companion robot for the kids. Uh, we inject artificial intelligence into the robot so it can answer kids' questions and help them explore the world. Let's build an obstacle course. Fen Tan is CEO and says the goal is to build something smart, interactive, educational, and still a little goofy all for the under nine-year-old crowd. So when you like uh, squeeze the ear, Ubo will start listening. And if you pat Ubo on the head or maybe like a scratch on the belly, Ubo will tickle. Uh, Ubo will like be very happy and laugh. There are over 40 games built inside and the robot can take you around the world to explore and learn new languages. So right now we have German and French. We plan to do Chinese in the future. Ubo is Wi-Fi connected and therefore constantly learning songs and stories to tell and can answer just about any child's question. Where the dinosaurs go, why does it rain, or even why should I eat more broccoli, which is a tough question for the parents all the time. It even provides a countdown so children know how long they should brush their teeth. So it's teaching them brushing teeth, getting ready for bed, it's doing all of these things for you, isn't it? And also we can do um, voice messages too. Hello mom. Five, ten years down the road, we, we hope Uber will be kind of a phenomenon. So it's like uh, every family has a Wubo, or even every kid has a Wubo. Has a Wubo. Yeah. yeah. Wubo retails for $199, but right now on Kickstarter, they're offering them up for nearly mm -hmm. half that at $119. Yeah. And they just told me that they sold 1,800 of these oh. in the last month. Cool. I, I this just, is popular. I just cool. treated Ed's kids. <laughs> no, I did. Oh, really? With a picture of Ed <laughs> yeah, with his <laughs> little boo boo friend. Yeah, yeah. Look at, see? see I said, get, it's very cuddly. Was, the holidays are about 60 ish days away. Yeah, and look where the boo boo I'm just going to say, under nine, nine crowd years old. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so we are a small team of uh, MIT, Carnegie Mellon, Harvard, and RISD students. Uh, we have sold out all our 3,000 units on the crowdfunding campaign in September and October, and we will deliver by this Christmas. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what 
Uh, so right now it's all sold out. Uh, so uh, we we do have our website which is uh, ubo.io. Uh, we we are looking forward to a new batch uh, roughly next uh, March. So we. It, because for these 3,000 units uh, with our early adopters, we can have a lot of data to improve the next model, both for the hardware and for the software. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks like the interface is on the screen with the eyes off. Does it hurt to interact with any of the eyes? Yeah, that, that, that's a very good question. So previously, we, we were thinking like, we don't want kids to poke on the face because that that's not very polite. But like uh, we, <laughs> but, but we do have a. Uh, strong need from uh, uh, families who have uh, kids on the spectrum. So in that case, kids may not have very mature vocal capabilities. That's why we uh, provided a touching interface, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's Wi-Fi connected and all the uh, interaction goes through our server in the cloud, so all the content can be updated seamlessly and uh, continuously. Yeah. Uh, we might want to analyze a little bit on the interest, so and we want to provide a better, like personalized uh, uh, recommendation. So it's kind of like a kid version of Netflix. Like uh, some kid might might want to learn more about the universe or maybe more about uh, football. So we can talk more in that topics. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't want to sell the data because that, that, that's uh, related to privacy, but we may want to sell more content. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's inside the toy? What hardware do you have? It's like uh, the basic Android, uh, Android platform, Android hardware. So, yeah. So, in that case, it's not that hard to make. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it it has a char rechargeable uh, lithium battery. So that's mostly la la that can be used for three days normal usage. Yeah. Um, question: Where are you drawing from? Uh, MIT, Harvard, and the other school? MIT, Harvard, Columbia, Carnegie Mellon, and uh, RISD. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the other people who are doing it on the internet? Like, what do you think about the other people? Oh. Uh, and, and I have a, a graduate student Oh yeah. Yeah, because like we want to get people from everywhere to contribute. So we have engineers, we have algorithm people, we have uh, people from education background. The, the, these are more Harvard Education School and designers from RISD. Yeah. This sounds like a sharp question, but how do you assemble this? Where do you assemble? Like, let's say you get a $5,000 order, $5,000 order. Is that going to be order tomorrow? Yeah, so we, we have them assembled and manufactured in Shenzhen, China. Yeah, so, and also because we're using very mature Android hardware solutions, so it's very fast, yeah. This would be like a personal story, yeah. but what is your favorite interaction that you've seen between the child and the ego? What, what comes to mind when you think, oh, that, that's why we made this, or that? Special story. Yeah, we, we, we have one kid who asked uh, uh, how, how many pandas are there in, in, in on the earth and Ubo answered like they, there is only uh, there are only 1,000 pandas left and, and they are endangered and the case was like wow and that, 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 that was the moment we found wow it can be very inspiring and encouraging yeah how did you come up with the looking yeah, yeah, it is a little bit for me looking at it, yeah. So uh, it, it, we have a designer from RISD, and you, you can even see it from our, like, uh, the, the logo. It's, we want everything to be round and soft-ish. So in that case, we want it to be, like, like the, previously we have some mechanical movements, like the arm can wave, but we, we took it to uh, see yes, and every kid hug it and say, wow, it's so soft, so we just throw away all the, all the hardware, yeah. And the parental controls, you have a place 
Yeah, so, so first, uh, everything that Ubo plays, uh, we, we have a like, curated uh, library uh, on ourselves, and also the parents will have a mobile app. So it's kind of like a, a little library that parents can know what kind of a game or story their kid has been listening to or playing, and what, what educational values do they provide. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.